I'll never forget the lesson I learned in traffic. Kenny and I were driving into Nashville, Tennessee. We were on a road trip when we approached a traffic jam. It looked like a minor traffic jam. We weren't going to be there very long, but next thing we knew, we were stuck there. Stopped. Totally stopped. People started getting out of their cars and moving around and talking to each other. What? It was crazy. But I realized something that day. That really has to do with reality transurfing as well. Welcome to Transurfing in Traffic. See you inside. Hi, Kathy Owen here, and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about transforming your life in magic fashion. Today, I'm going to talk to you about traffic jams and impatience and how to deal with it in another way. I mean, it's your choice on how you want to deal with it, but I'm going to show you another way. So Kenny and I were stuck in this traffic jam and we were like, his impatience was getting weary and we probably were there for at least one hour, maybe longer. But I came to this realization, I'm like, you know, we're not going to be here forever. Let's hope. And looking back, it's just a blip in my memory. I mean, I do remember the traffic jam because it was so long, but I also realized something when I sat in this traffic jam. I started to look around me. I noticed things that I wouldn't have noticed if we had been speeding on by. I noticed a building. I noticed a sign. I noticed a bird. I noticed a flower that was growing right there in the middle of the road. Yeah, you may say that's all fun and dandy, Kathy, but what happened was I used it to my advantage. And I started to shift my paradigm on how I approached impatience. You see, there's something to be learned here. You can see reality shifting in different ways. And if you're impatient sitting through a light and cussing at the people in front of you, cussing at the people behind you, what are you missing out on? Yeah, I get it. It's no fun to sit through a light four or five times, especially those long ones that my brother probably timed. <laughs> Just kidding, Mark. But it happens. It happens. So how do you deal with that? I have several ways I look at this. The first way I look at it is it's to an advantage. Reality Transurfing has this quote and Renee has made stickers around it. It's pretty profound if you start to look at your world this way. My world is always taking care of me, always, in any incidents. If you start to look at it that way, things start to happen that way. Yeah, bad things are going to happen. You're going to get stuck in traffic jams. But if you start to say, oh, it's taking care of me here, how can I look at that? First of all, you can look at it like I'm running on God's time. I'm stuck in this traffic jam. What does he want me to see? Look around. What does he want you to see? I don't know. That's up to you. What happens with me is I started to create stories around these intersections. And I started to look around and see what would it look like mm, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? What's it going to look like 20 years from now, 30 years from now or longer? I have this intersection that I frequent regularly, even since I was a child. It's Highway 6 and 90 in Sugar Land. And there are several stories I have around this intersection, even with other people telling me. And when I'm stuck in a traffic jam, which happens in the afternoon when, when you know, rush hour happens, there is, and you kind of think about, why do they call it rush hour? I mean, really, 
Why do they call it rush hour? What's your rush? You want to get home so you can take care of the family? Yeah, I get it, but tight. Slow down. Slow down for a second, okay? Because there's something to relish in that moment. That intersection, one of the my favorite stories around that intersection has to do with me and Kenny's housekeeper that we had back in the day. Her name was Miss Teresa, loved her. She told me she could remember when that was a dirt road. She can remember when horse and buggies were driving through that intersection, when it was all sugar cane fields all around, because that's where Sugarland gets its name. We were all sugar, we were sugar. There was a sugar mill right around the corner from there. Not anymore. That intersection has bridges and freeway and lights and underground and a railroad track that, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm sure she watched it evolve as I've watched it evolve since I was a kid because that freeway bridge was not always there. So when you're stuck in, a, in an intersection, what what happened there? What, what did it look like before? What stories have happened there? What's going on around you? What, what are you missing that you wouldn't have seen if you weren't stuck in that traffic jam? There's another incident that says about taking advantage and my world is always taking care of me. And it has to do with this story that I heard from Gary Renard in Disappearance of the Universe. I'll put a link in the description below to his book. Um, it's a little woo, but it's pretty cool because he channeled his spiritual guides. And his spiritual guides told him a story about this. One time he was at the movies and he really wanted to see this one movie. And then the other movie wasn't showing at the time he needed to see it. And so he got really mad. And he remembered that. And his guides told him that that prevented him from a fatal accident. Whoa. Oh, sure, you can think that's all in your mind and it's all da da da, whatever. Kathy, I'm in rush hour. I'm trying to rush to get home. Well, you're stuck there, so you might as well make the best of it. It's like when you're stuck in life and you got a problem going on, you might as well make the best of it. It's like that little gal I follow on, or I used to follow that calls my stuff toxic positivity. Yeah, I, I don't go there, but I still look at her stuff and it's so funny because she's still living in her, her toxic negativity because she's missing this and missing that and no, 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 no. Well, what are you missing that's happening right now? Even though you may be stuck in a pandemic with you can't hang out with your friends and you can't go to the gym and you're not getting to train your clients like you used to and you're tired of living in your little apartment. What are you missing? Really, what are you missing? Do you ask yourself that? I mean, Call me toxic positivity, but I, I'll tell you this right now. It sure feels great to look at things with advantage. And it sure looks great to look at things over here and stop and observe what you would have missed if you weren't in a pandemic. What you would have missed if you weren't in a traffic jam. Because there's advantage there. I promise you. But you can still look at it like that if you want to and, and have your little pity party and feel your negative emotions because that's what's going to heal you. But it feels a lot better over here and it's still going to heal you. That's my video for today. I hope you liked it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And 